Hey, everybody. Welcome back to our podcast. We're thrilled to have you with us. Yes, we are. I'm Tori. I am Mark. How are you doing, Mark? I'm doing fantastic. I understand that you uh, uh, you took a little trek out this weekend. I did. I did. It was beautiful here. Uh, weather was gorgeous. Sunny, warm mornings went out and went mushroom hunting. Hmm. And we, I don't know about you all, but and you, but yeah. I love morel mushrooms. Oh, absolutely. We are in the peak morel season right now. And... Uh, Let's just say we did well. I, I too went hunting. Yeah? I did. Yeah, I went to like a half a dozen resale shops in search of the elusive knickknack. Nice. Yeah, nice. So yeah, I came home empty handed. But I will find that trophy. I'm telling you. And I'm telling you, I will find that trophy. Nice. All right. Those of you that resale, you know what I'm talking about. All right. So today we're going to be uh, giving you a brief introduction to uh, KidSpark, um, formerly known as Rock and Mock. Um, it is an incredible building and engineering system that's designed for pre-K all the way through oh, uh, late junior high school, early high school. Right. Uh, it's an awesome product. You can kind of think of it as Lego on steroids. This is amazing when you stop to think about everything that you can do with it. So basically, we, we want to uh, reiterate the fact that I'm sure most of you already know, um, by the third or fourth grade, most kids have already determined whether or not they're going to be inclined or are um, disinclined um, uh, or disinclined exactly to uh, explore the whole idea of science, technology, engineering, and math. And typically, by the time they get to that age, they're already behind their peers that have decided that they want to explore in that direction. So by the time they get to high school, they're already so far behind, behind that the curve, it, yeah, yeah, exactly that they just can't get up. Uh, get caught up so it doesn't give them an opportunity to really explore that whole concept and think of themselves as potential engineers and um, the KidSpark education system um, helps kids think like designers and work like engineers. Um, so there's lots and lots that you can do with it. We're going to give you the tall and skinny. Um, um, we have uh, the entire Rockenbach system set up for us over here on the side, and we'll give you a cutaway view of that in a moment. Um, but that is the combination of two of the KidSpark kits. Right. Uh, that is the... The STEM lab and the engineering pathways. Exactly. So the STEM lab, or the rocks blocks, is where you start the young ones, and then uh, they grow into the system, and that'll make a little more sense here in a minute. So... Um, as an and, well, the STEM lab goes from pre-K through third grade, basically. Exactly. And then the engineering pathway goes fourth, fifth, sixth grade, mm -hmm. potentially. Yeah. Um, and then um, as you get into the more complex portions of it, like the Arduino and so on and so forth, you take it all the way up through the end of junior high school and into the beginning of high school. So it is uh, the age range that you can use this particular system with is incredible. And uh, we recommend that you consider the purchase of both the Rock uh, Rock Blocks Engineering Kit and the um, STEM Lab. Uh, the uh, STEM Lab, I mean, and the Engineering Pathways, because with the combination of those two sets, you can get through the entire curriculum. Right. And the curriculum that um, uh, KidSpark offers to you is awesome. The the step by step plans you you really don't know how, you really don't need to know anything about uh, this process because you're going to get the step by step guide to get you through the entire curriculum. It's all clearly spelled out, and the curriculum is always included at no charge. I mean, it's built into the kits themselves. Right, right. Okay, so like as an example, when you start with the youngest ones, you know, you open up the box, you sew them the gay pieces, and you may say something to the effect of, okay, build a hammer. And this is my interpretation of a hammer. All right, so then um, you'll ask the kids to try it, you know, hit it against a surface. Does it break? Probably. Probably. And that's okay because failure is part of the whole learning process. All right. So the hammer fell apart. You tell the kid to put it back together and say, okay, now using the pieces that you have available to you, what can How you do? How do you make do? it stronger? How can exactly. you make that stronger? Stronger and, uh, and more versatile for you. So, you know, uh, snap in a couple of additional support pieces, try the hammer again. And typically, you're going to be able to tell, you know, whether or not your engine, uh, engineering process has worked for you. And it's critical thinking, it's problem solving, it's teamwork. If you have a group of three or four kids working together, how do we do this? And they come to this 
hopefully. Like, we'll keep exactly. Working. And we do recommend teams because then not only are they learning, you know, the engineering thought processes, but they're getting the social skills of collaboration and teamwork and so on. Those soft skills uh, that have kind of fallen by the wayside. So, um, okay. So you've got your young ones. You might do the same thing with the bridge, build the bridge. Now test it in the center. Right. Does it break? Yeah, probably. Okay, so what pieces can you use to make it stronger? So that's your basic engineering thought processes. Um, then from there, you move into simple machines. And that's when you start working with gears and pulleys and other mechanisms um, that kind of help um, ease the workload, as it were. So that's an, uh, another entire curriculum part of the, uh, of the process. And then you start basic gears like this, basic rotational concepts and as you get more advanced then you start building into carousels with characters hanging from their seats so it takes them from very basic constructs to much more advanced constructs. exactly so it's kind of like all of us with our legos or tinker toys or erector sets you know when you first start playing with it um, your uh, your building um, is um, is pretty rudimentary, and as you become more familiar with it, that's when we all got into the tinker's to toys and started making more elaborate setups and stuff. So it definitely does help develop the cognitive thinking skills as well. All right, so we've gone from the simple engineering, uh, we've stepped up into the um, 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 simple mechanics and then from that point you move up to the next point of the system and that's all going to be about um, electronics simple coding drag and drop coding uh, arduinos remote controls um, so we we uh, had our uh, our guru hannah put this together for us or did i turn it off <laughs> there yes, you, go. you are so smart okay so i've turned it on with the remote this is a little gear mechanism a maze that uh we put together and um i'm still not very good at it yet so it's not a good camera angle but there's a ball inside this maze and as he rotates the maze he's getting the ball to go around right because because i'm smart enough to figure this out at least i'd like to think so <laughs> Uh, but this is just one of the uh, uh, one of the many, many, many different types of moving mechanisms that you can uh, that you can uh, fabricate using the entire uh, KidSpark system. Um, we we love uh, Rockenbach uh, KidSpark for a number of reasons. Uh, they are a nonprofit organization um, based out of San Diego, California. Um, they are totally dedicated to the success of STEAM mentoring uh, in libraries and public school systems. And they also offer a grant opportunity. And they're, they're generous with their grants. Now, of course, not every library that applies for a grant is going to get one. But like I said, you know, they're pretty generous with it. So you can get, I think it's between 50 up to $500 grants. And if you'll contact us, we're happy to get you the grant application information, all of the promotional materials and uh, the stuff that you want to study to see if Rockenbach might be a good fit at your library. And there are also a plethora of, don't you love that word? Plethora. I think I introduced that to you a couple podcasts ago. Oh, yeah, you may, you may have. A veritable plethora. Uh, okay, you were Maybe smart not. and pretty. Maybe not. Okay, so anyway, uh, on YouTube, there are lots and lots of videos. If you go into uh, YouTube and you type in Rockenbach, R-O-K-E-N-B-O-K, -K, or KidSpark, which is their new branding, uh, because you want to make sure that you're ca able to capture some of the older videos as well. You're going to see all kinds of very creative things that the kids have done uh, with the Rockenbach uh, KidSpark engineering system. And you'll see more advanced things than we're showing here, but they have forklifts, they have dump trucks, they have they have payloaders, they have they have a monorail system. So it gets really, you know, as advanced as you want to get, there's that ability. Okay, so <clears throat> the, the tall and skinny of it is, is that we are firm believers in the, um, in the outcomes that you're able to achieve with the KidSpark um, engineering system. And we want to make sure that uh, everyone understands that this is an excellent opportunity to get to those niche groups that typically are not as involved 
in the whole idea of the uh, STEAM process. Uh, girls, uh, children of color, uh, children from lower income families, you know, because they just don't have the opportunity to have quite as much exposure. And um, we cannot stress enough about how the research points to the fact that the younger the kids are when they start to get involved uh, with uh, science, technology, engineering, and math, uh, the better opportunity that they have for success in their academic career and then in their professional career that follows. So and we can't stress enough how much research went into the development of Rockenbach, uh, whether it's the components themselves, and we haven't shown you yet how it's how it's laid out, but. It, it is an incredible uh, case that, that, that is on an, a an wheeled uh, scenario where it's easy for you to, to put it in your makerspace. Um, it is designed to, to not take up your library space. It's, it's really designed to be um, a very convenient uh, situation to have in your mm -hmm. library. It, it, it absolutely is. We'll have to take a picture. And, show and um, it, uh, it's developed to the point to where, you know, with uh, each kit – you can accommodate up to four kids very comfortably and get through the entire curriculum. So um, let's have a conversation about this. Again, as always, no sales, pitch, uh, no sales pitch, no pressure, no hassle, no kidding. Give us a call. Let's have a candid conversation. We'll share the information with you and see if you think that this might be a good fit at your library. So our number is 800-850-1701. Or you can reach us via email at podcast at teilandmarkaudio.com. Awesome. All right. We thank you so much for tuning in. Come in again uh, frequently. See what we have to offer. And get, like I said, give us a call. Let's just chat for a few minutes. In the meantime, we'll see All you right. on the other side. <laughs>